Hello friends, I am Bhavin from taxoptutorial.com. Uh, today we discuss about how to send SMS using the PHP code uh, using the MYO API. Uh, this is my official blog where I posted one post uh, how to send SMS using the PHP code already. And uh, nowadays SMS sending facility is one of the most crucial facility. Each and every website that provides this type of the facility for the user when the user, user create the account, they instruct you the SMS and each and every bank site that also uh, send a notification after every successful transaction so that is the main crucial facility that now each and every website wants so let's try to how to integrate this web facility in our PHP projects so I'm using the MYO API so I will be show you how to create account inside the MYO website and how to use the SMS facility and uh, how to use the API for this one so this is my post and I go through the post of my blog these are the main service provider of the sending as SMS gateway. We can say that the, I am using MYO, but you also using uh, use this different type of the company that provide the SMS facility. And uh, first of all, we go through the MYO website. Uh, at here, I already open it. Uh, first of all, you need to register yourself. I am already registered there. That's why I skip this step because uh, I have already. So then I enter my ID password at here. After the successful registration, you will get this dashboard. Uh, inside the dashboard, uh, here is the SMS credit. Uh, first of all, MYO provides 20 free SMS for the testing purpose. When you ac when you create your account, it's MYO give me a 20 SMS. But I am using that's why I only left three SMS credit. But if you have, then if you uh, if you got first of all 20 SMS and uh, it's free of course there are no any uh, charges for credits and after the 20 sms you, you want to expand then you purchase sms okay so uh, inside the dashboard we will go through the uh, api tab uh, api tab it here we are showing this php tab because we use this code inside the php that's why i'm selecting php but if you have different kind of application in different languages like asp.net asp vb.net and then you use this code for the sending SMS but I am using it here PHP so I copy the all the code and I uh, one create an index.php file uh, I paste it here I already pasted but this is the code same as they copied it at, uh, from the mwire.com so I uh, create one index.php file to, so instruct you how to send SMS using the PHP code so uh, first of all I am creating one form at here this is basically HTML form that send uh, uh, post request to the users and uh, it will send the SMS so uh, this is the form basically and inside the form I have one mobile number tab and one message tab that is is in text area and this is the input box and the submit button that uh, submit the whole the data to the server so after the submitting it send the whole the data to the to the uh, PHP file and uh, mobile number and message these two variables store the mobile number which is specified at here I also run this demo at here okay. this is the same demo which is I uh, uh, display on you this is a two uh, text box um, first of all text box and then second is a message when a user hit the submit button and all the data which is I propagated inside this text box will be sent inside the, this two variable and uh, uh, this preg match variable match if the mobile number is totally 9 or 10 digit or not if not then it's raised it's raise the validation error and also check if the message uh, text is fulfilled or not if the message is empty then also raise the validation error if both are the criteria fulfilled then uh, further progression to send the SMS to the user which is specified the mobile number if you if you paste uh, if you given a mobile number at here it will send the SMS to this number after the successful validations happen uh, this is the basic code that we uh, provided by the MYO. We don't need to change anything. We just specify the message box inside the TX message TXE variable and uh, gives the mobile number uh, inside the recipient number. Just needs a basic setup and uh, these are this crawl <coughs> API. If you want to know about this crawl, how it works and all these things, so you ch check official document of the PHP, uh, how to use the crawl functions because curl is basically function that send the http request inside the inside the php programs and inside the code so there are the so, so many uh, plugin uh, functions of the curl you will check if you want then more knowledge about this one 
uh, so basically curl setup function send this url and with the set parameters which is a uh, specified at here and after the all of the parameters that set successfully it will send the sms so let's start one send the sms in my mobile number so let's run this uh, code i give you my mobile number at here and also uh, one message and send here is a credit i have only left at it here three credit i will you will show at here i have only three credit uh, and if I send this SMS, then it remains two. So you can check it out. Uh, this is the status is equal to zero in the int means SMS sent successfully, and uh, this is a transactions uh, ID that's uh, it's written a transaction ID when successful SMS sending, and this is a message message sent successful. So I remains when I refresh this page, it will show me my credit. Uh, first of all, I check it here. It's cement too. Then also I will uh, refresh this page and it's remain too. So this is a signed successfully SMS. Thank you for watching my video and uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Please subscribe my video channel.